Shalom, family in the side shore. This is your beloved brother, Shao Yisrael, coming back again with another Yahweh-inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Exodus chapter 23 and starting at verse 20. The book of Exodus chapter 23 and verse 20, and I read, Behold, I sent an Malak, or angel, or messenger, before you, to guard you in the way, to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him, and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. But you shall indeed obey his voice, and do all that I speak. Then I will be an enemy unto your enemies, and an adversary unto your adversaries. For my Malak shall go before you, and bring you in unto the Amorites, and the Hittites, and the Perizzites, the Canaanites, and the Hivites, and the Jebusites, and I will cut them off. Now turn to Second Chronicles, chapter 20, the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20. Second Chronicles, chapter 20, and verse 20. The book of Second Chronicles, chapter 20, verse 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in Yahweh your El, so shall you be established. Believe his messengers, so shall you prosper. I read that to say this. Another important element to our tribulation preparation is following set-apart leadership. An important element of tribulation preparation is following set-apart leadership. The question is, what is set apart leadership? Set apart leadership is leadership that has been appointed, authorized, sanctioned, and empowered to lead the people of Abba Yahweh. Set apart leadership. Is leadership that has been sanctioned, authorized, and empowered, enabled to lead the people of Abba Yahweh, which is you renew Israel. As written in Isaiah chapter 61, the book of Isaiah chapter 61, again, the book of Isaiah chapter 61. And starting at verse 1, Isaiah 61 and verse 1, The Spirit of Yahweh El is upon me, because Yahweh has anointed me, appointed me to proclaim good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the broken heart, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh, and the day of vengeance of Yahweh, to cover all that mourn. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that it might be called tree of righteousness, the planting of Yahweh, that he might be glorified. So set apart leadership are men that Yahweh has ordained, appointed, sanctioned, and authorized to lead his people. So the set-apart leadership of Yahweh is his ministry that has been given unto his assembly to not only lead his assembly, but to develop, nurture, and mold them into his image and likeness after the manner of his renewed and restored image, Yeshua of Nazareth. As is written, for he whom Yahweh has sent, for he whom Yahweh has authorized, 
speaks the word of Yahweh. And the ministry of Yahweh consists of apostles, prophets, bishops, which is an elder, and deacons. The ministry of Yahweh consists of apostles, prophets, bishops, and deacons. And the ministry of Yahweh functions and operates and is guided by one supreme spirit, which is Abba Yahweh. Those who are appointed and authorized to minister the word and gospel of Yahweh are those who have been made into disciples by the new birth, according to Acts 38, meaning they have likewise repented of their sins, made a commitment to turn from transgression of Yahweh's word and to believe on the mediator between Yahweh and men, Messiah Yeshua, by taking on his name in water baptism, that they may receive the pardon of their sin and may receive a renewed nature and receiving the indwelling presence, character, and power of Yahweh that brings them into fellowship with Yahweh, which is the Seraphite Spirit as initially evident by speaking another tongue as Yahweh gives permission to speak. So, our important element of tribulation preparation is following Seraphite leadership. If you have not been appointed of Yahweh, whether direct or indirect, that it is commanded of Yahweh for you to follow set apart leadership. We are to follow set apart leadership. We are not to follow hypocritical leadership or false leadership. As the scripture says, many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And those who are not set apart are those who are not born of Yahweh, nor have been authorized or sanctioned of Yahweh to proclaim the word of Yahweh. And if a man has been authorized to lead the people of Yahweh, to proclaim the set apart message of Yahweh, then he will occupy one of the four offices of ministry, either apostle or prophet. Why? Because the apostleship and the prophetship are appointed direct by Yahweh. And if he has been appointed indirect of Yahweh to be either an elder or a deacon, he had must have had an apostle lay hands upon him to appoint him either a bishop. A bishop is an elder or appointed to be a deacon after being nominated by the assembly to be ordained a deacon. So in order for a man or men to minister the word of Yahweh, he must occupy an office of ministry. So if a man has not been appointed direct or indirect of Yahweh, then he is not set apart leadership. And we do not follow false messengers. In fact, we mark those who are false messengers, who are false prophets, who are intent on leading souls away from the straight and narrow way. For the mark of a true messenger and minister of the word of Yahweh is one, is a man who leads in the path of the straight and narrow that leads to the kingdom of Yahweh. As the book of Exodus plainly declared in Exodus chapter 24, Exodus 20, rather 23 and verse 20, 
Behold, I send and messenger before you to guard you in the way and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. So the purpose, the motivation of Yahweh's messengers is to guard us in the way of Yahweh. And the messengers of Yahweh, whether apostle, prophet, bishop, deacon, they guard the people of Yahweh in the way of Yahweh through the proclamation and the instruction of the word of Yahweh. See, the purpose of the instruction and the proclamation of Yahweh's word is to make disciples and to develop disciples into the image and likeness of Yahweh after the manner of our exalted king and anointed one, Jesus of Nazareth, that we may be made worthy for, of the kingdom of Yahweh. So we must follow set apart leadership. This is an important aspect of tribulation preparation because in the coming hour of the tribulation period, it will be wise of us to follow self-part leadership. It will be wise of us who have been appointed to be a self-part leader in the assembly to follow the leading of the Spirit of Yahweh. They will make effectively lead the people of Yahweh. They may guard the people of Yahweh in the way of Yahweh. They may lead them to the kingdom of Yahweh. And in order for separate leaders to be effective, we must be filled with and renewed with and led by the separate spirit of Yahweh. For Yahweh's ministry, it works exclusively by and through Yahweh's Spirit. No man can minister the word of Yahweh in the flesh. For the flesh profits nothing. No man can please Yahweh in the flesh. You must be filled with and renewed by and led by the Spirit of Yahweh. They may be able to effectively minister the word of Yahweh and to live according to the word of Yahweh. For all messages of Yahweh have Yahweh's authority upon and in him. Thus, to reject Yahweh's messenger is to reject Abba Yahweh. The fight against a messenger of Yahweh is to fight against Yahweh. So an important element of tribulation preparation is following set apart leadership. As written in Ecclesiasticus, the book of Ecclesiasticus, Ecclesiasticus, The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 7, and starting at verse 29. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter, 20, chapter 7, and verse 29. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 7, verse 29, and I read, Fear Yahweh with all your soul and reverence his ministers. Love Yahweh that made you with all your strength. And forsake not his ministers. Fear Yahweh and honor the minister and give him his portion as is commanded you the first fruits and the trespass offering and the gift of the shows and the sacrifice of separation and the first fruit of the separate things. 
So we must reverence the ministry of Yahweh. We are to be supportive and cooperative with the ministry, the separate leaders of Yahweh. For Yahweh's name, Yahweh's authority is in his ministry, in his ministers. They have been appointed direct or indirect by Yahweh. Because in order to hear from Yahweh, you must hear his messages. For Yahweh's word, Yahweh's name is in his ministers. So you must hear Yahweh's ministers. For it is written, for he whom Yahweh has sent, has appointed and authorized, speaks the word of Yahweh. And when you hear the minister of Yahweh, you're hearing the voice of Yahweh. So do not neglect nor despise his minister, particularly me, Shaul Yisrael, who is one of the ministers of Yahweh, a set apart apostle of Yahweh. Do not neglect the word that I speak unto you now by way of the set apart spirit. For if you neglect nor despise or despise the words that I have do speak in the name of Yahweh, you do neglect and despise our Yahweh. For I and Yahweh are one. In fact, every messenger of Yahweh are one with Yahweh. And it is vitally important that we follow set apart leadership. Be cooperative, be reverential of self part leadership. Because in order to receive direction and guidance, to be guarded and preserved, you must follow self part leadership. This is a vital element of our tribulation preparation. Because in the time that is a coming upon the earth, we are going to need to hear from Yahweh. To receive revelation from Yahweh. And that revelation comes by way of his set apart leaders. We who have been appointed and will be appointed by Yahweh as set apart leaders. We must rely upon our Yahweh exclusively. And allow Yahweh to work through us. As written in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and starting at verse 4. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 4. Now there are diversities of gifts for the same spirit. And there are differences of administration but the same mediator. And there are diversities of operation, but it is the same Elohim which works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit of Yahweh is given to every man the proper thought. For the one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of understanding, by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gift of healing by the same Spirit, to another the work of the miracles, to another prophecy, to another to discern the understanding of the Spirit. To another, divers kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. For all these works that one and the self same spirit divide the area separate as he will. So we who are chosen and charged of Yahweh to minister the word and to lead the body of Messiah Yeshua, we must rely upon Yahweh's spirit. We cannot minister effectively the word of Yahweh without the spirit of Yahweh. We must rely upon Yahweh's spirit. We must be continually renewed in the spirit of Yahweh. So it's of vital importance that we follow set apart leaders. And a set apart leader are those who have likewise repented of their sins and were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of their sins and the regeneration of the soul and have received the baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh give permission to speak. If that man claimed to be 
a set apart leader, claimed to be a messenger, a preacher, and teacher of the word, and yet he is not born again, then he is a damn liar. There's only one way and one way only to be born again, that by way of obedience to Acts 238, if that man who claimed to be a minister of Yahweh did not repent of his sin and was water baptized in the name of the blessed one, Jesus Christ, for the pardon of the sin and the regenerate of the soul and to receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Ghost as a nation evident by speaking another tongue as Yahweh give permission to speak. He is not a minister of Yahweh and you run and mark that man. You mark him because he calls divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. And what you have learned, you learn in the scripture. So in order to follow set apart leadership, you must follow a true messenger of Yahweh. And if you're not following a true messenger of Yahweh, then come out of that hell hole. But if you follow a false messenger of a surety, you're going to lift up your eyes in the lake of fire. So you come out of IU, I see. You come out of IU, SPK. You come out of GMS. You come out of every assembly, every group that is not led by a messenger of Yahweh. And therefore, that man to be a messenger of Yahweh, he must be born again. He must preach, thus said Yahweh, even the apostle doctrine. If he's not preaching that apostle doctrine, they is established upon the six principles, which is one God and new birth, according to Acts 2 38, and mere man Christology, and three stage, and die to instruction, and seraphite living. He's not a messenger of Yahweh in order to be able to hear from Yahweh, to hear the voice of the seraphite one. You must follow a seraphite man, a seraphite minister. You must have a Yahweh sent preacher. You got to have a Yahweh sent preacher. And I'm one of those Yahweh sent preachers that you must hear and follow. If you're not following a seraphite leader, the other truth, you are hell bound. Vitally important, you must follow seraphite leadership. There's a vital element of tribulation preparation. You must follow seraphite leaders. So to those who are false messengers, if you're so inclined to hear this word of Yahweh, you better obey it and sit your ass down because you're not caught in sin. I'm talking to Yohanna. I'm talking to Nathaniel. I'm talking to Rathazan. I'm talking to Richard Shepherd. I'm talking to every false messenger who preside over religious gatherings. You better sit your ass down because in the day of judgment, you shall be condemned at being a false prophet and false teacher. And you're going to lift up your eyes in the lake of fire and you're going to burn throughout eternity for being a false witness. Yet yeah, we must follow set apart leadership in order to hear from y'all. Must follow set apart leadership. This is a vital element of our tribulation preparation. You must follow set apart leaders. And we mark those who are not set apart leaders. And those who are not set apart leaders are those who cause divisions and offenses contrary to what's written in the Word of God. We must follow set apart leadership. And that Sarabot leadership must be appointed, authorized, sanctioned, and certified by Abba Yahweh himself. So give heed to the Sarabot word of Yahweh that pours forth from my lips. Give heed to the word of Yahweh that pours forth from the mouth of his messengers. His Sarabot Malak or Melakim. Malak, angel, is not just referring to the children of heaven, but also refers to those who are ministers and messengers of Yahweh's set apart word. It's vitally important that you follow set apart leadership in this hour. 
and the hour is to come. They may be guarded in the way, preserved in the way, and be able to be led to the kingdom of Yahweh. O oh, Yahweh, in the name of your beloved son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for giving your servant the unction and the permission to speak your set apart word. Continue to raise up faithful men to minister in your name and your power that those whom you have chosen may hear your word and, and may be drawn to be one with you. Continue to increase our faith, O oh Yahweh. Refine our faith and stab our faith in you, O oh Yahweh, that we may stand in the evil day that is at present and that is to come. Raise the faithful support and relief toward us, your elect messengers and ministers of your word. Raise the faithful support and relief towards us, your elect ones, that we may thrive and endure and survive in these last and evil. Continue, O Yahweh, to fight against our enemies and adversaries that is in that is against us. And seek to lead us away from your set apart way and path. Continue to grant your servant uncommon favor, shalom, infinite mercy, and loving kindness, calling very souls to give generously and continually and boldly unto your servant. I give your name honor. Glory and praise, O Yahweh. So be it, so be it. Remember, family, as you're able and enabled of Abba Yahweh, please show your support by sending a donation of, of any amount as often as you can and when you can for the support and relief of your beloved brother and your faithful minister in Messiah Yeshua. Either to my Cash App, PayPal, Venmo, or Zelle. Be a blessing to one of Yahweh's servants, Yahweh's appointed messenger, be a help, reverence, set apart leadership, value them, be supportive, be cooperative with set apart leadership, because set apart leaders, we will be a vital resource in the evil day that's to come and in the evil day that exists now. So be prayerful for us. Be prayerful for one another. Continue to stand firm in the word of Yahweh, family. Love you all, family. Shalom, shalom, and shalom.